All right, method two. Method two is where you get rid of all of the fractions by multiplying both sides of the equation by the LCD. So you're, we're just getting rid of fractions, which most people love to do. So um, this is my preferred method, but it doesn't mean you have to do it this way. You could do all of them this way though, okay? So um, here we go. So if we look up here, and I actually wanna do the one down here, it's a little bit easier. Let's do that one first. So the one down here just looks a little easier because it doesn't have, it, the LCD is just easier to see. So what do all three of these have in common? That's what you gotta do. Before I was just simplifying one side, but this time I'm gonna look at all three of these denominators and I'm gonna decide, okay, what's the LCD of all three of these? So that's why we practice that. So. Um, so the LCD here, you can see that 2, 3, and 6, they can all go into 6. And you can see that they have an X as well. So our LCD has to be 6X. Okay? So that is what I'm going to multiply both sides by. And that means every term, all three of these, get multiplied by that. So if I multiply each of these terms by 6X, so that's going to be 6X times 7 over 6x, okay, minus 6x times 1 over 3, and equal to 6x times 1 over 2x. So I'm multiplying every single one of these by 6x, the tops. And what's going to happen is things are going to cancel for each one of these, and that's going to get rid of our fractions. So this 6x here completely cancels with this one. So all I'm left with is a 7. So I just get a 7 for that, which is kind of nice. On this one, um, 3 and 6, you know, they can be divided. So 6 um, and 3, they're both divisible by 3. So if we divide this by 3, we get a 1. If we divide this by 3, we get a 2. So now this is 2x times 1, which is 2x. And that's all. And the denominator is 1, so we don't have to, you know, write that. Um, so we just got rid of the fraction there. And then here, um, the x is canceled. And then we know, again, this reduces to 3. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And again, we have the, the 3 here times the 1. So it ends up being 3. So there's our equation, which is really nice. We just got rid of all the fractions, and I love this method. Um, so now you just solve this equation. So I'm going to get 7 over on this side, because I want to get x by itself. So I first, first have to get rid of the 7. So I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. All right, so my 7's cancel, and then still have this negative and the 2x and then 3 minus 7 is negative 4 okay and then the final step is just to divide by negative 2 divide by negative 2 okay and then you are left with these cancel right and then we have x equals and 4 negative 4 divided by negative 2 is the positive 2. And again, the, um, the thing is you want to always go back and make sure you plug in this into the original one. But since um, this number, if I, if I plug it into the bottom of both of these where x is, I notice that this does not make the bottom 0. So 7 divided by 6 times 2 that's 7 divided by 12. It's not going to make the bottom of the denominators 0 by plugging it back in, so I know it's okay. So now let's go back up to this one. All right, so now we're going to um, multiply by the LCD, just like we did down there. Now this LCD, if we look at this, this is um, 9 over x plus 2 over 1, technically equals uh, 2x over x plus 3. So now I know these are both completely different factors, so I need the LCD then to include both of them. So my LCD is going to be this. 
and don't worry about multiplying that out. Just leave it like this. So you're going to multiply every term by that. Okay? And again, what's going to happen is they're going to cancel. Some of them are going to cancel. And some of them won't, like this one. We'll see that it doesn't. But So we're going to do on the tops, we're going to multiply the tops by x times x plus 3. So we're going to say 9 times um, x and then x plus 3. So we're multiplying the top of this fraction by our LCD. Then we put it over the bottom of the fraction. Multiply again the top of the fraction by the LCD. So 2 times x and x plus 3. Okay. And this is over 1, but it won't really matter. Um, I just wanted to show you. And then again, 2x and then times x and x plus over x plus 3. So again, what's nice is um, we're going to get rid of some of these. So on this one, the x's end up canceling. Alright, so we have 9 times x plus 3. Okay, what's left? On here, nothing cancels. So we have um, 2x times x plus Okay, and then on the final equation, um, you can see the x plus 3's will cancel. So that's all that will cancel there. So now we have 2x times x, which is 2x squared. But you're going to see when we multiply this stuff out, um, things are going to end up canceling, so don't worry. <laughs> so now we're going to multiply this, we're going to distribute it. So 9 times x is 9x. 9 times 3 is 27. So I just distributed that here and here. Then um, 2x times x is 2x squared, which is good, because we have one of those on the other side. And then 2x times 3 is 6x, because 2 times 3 is 6, and then we have x. And again, we have 2x squared over here. So now, um, what ends up happening, there's 2x's on 2x squared on both sides. But just to show you, if I were to subtract 2x squared and get it over here, I would end up you know, canceling out both of those. So that was good. They both cancel out. So now, um, in our equation, we have 9x plus 27 plus 6x equals 0, because there's nothing over here now. All right? And then, again, I'll move over to the side here. Um, but 9x plus 16x, or sorry, 9x plus 6x <laughs> is 15x. 15x plus 27 equals 0. Okay, so I just combined these two together. But I'll move over here, like I said, because I need more room. So 15x plus 27 equals 0. And now I have to solve that um, equation. So again, um, I subtract 27 from both sides. Do that. All right, those cancel out. I get 15x equals... 0 minus 27 is negative 27. And then the final step is to divide by 15. And I know that doesn't look good, but you're just going to have to reduce the um, fraction. So I know that um, a 3 goes into 27 and 15. So I'm going to divide the top by 3, and I get negative 9, because 9 times 3 is 27. If I divide the bottom by uh, 3, I get 5. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So that is your final answer. And the one thing, again, you're always going to want to go back and make sure that if you plugged that answer back into this, 
it would not make the bottom zero. That's really the, the most important part. But um, there's only one answer, so it's likely not going to make the bottom zero. But if you look down here, if I plug it in here, that's not going to be zero. And 3 plus negative, this is 1 and 4 fifths, that's not going to be zero either. So we're good.